Okay, guys, I wanted to walk you through a quick overview of the Scale Insights program that I've been starting to use for some of my campaigns, um, specifically looking at the automation and the mass campaigns and just how they kind of work together and are related. Um, we're not going to look at any of these reporting um, right now, and I'm not going to dig really deep into any of the rules or mass campaigns, just kind of the overall picture. When I first got uh, signed on to the account, they sent me some onboarding videos, and one of those videos provided kind of their overall strategy. This is the very high level, big picture, how they funnel keywords, but to put it in a very blanket, if I, if I had to do a very ba simple way of explaining their strategy is they build it in a way that maintains conversion integrity. And when you are able to maintain conversion, uh, a decent conversion rate throughout advertising, you will teach the Amazon algorithm that you are a relevant prog product, which in turn reduces cost per clicks and increases organic rank, which is everything we're really working towards, especially now as things become more challenging, the, you know, to put it bluntly, the, the economy is gonna be, it's gonna be more tight on the margins, especially in the economy. And so clients are expecting a little bit more when it comes to profit margins and being able to really manage that total aid cost. So this has been something that I've been looking for. And I think this has kind of solved the issue that I've, I've been really trying to come up with a better strategy than I have in the past and just really maintain that conversion rate throughout every stage of launch, growth, and uh, a mature stage. So this is theirs. I'm not going to dig too deep into it, but just know like there's a lot of information here. And when he walks you through this, uh, and I'll make sure I'll show that video when he walks you through this, it's pretty, it can be at first overwhelming. And then when you take this lesson that he teaches and you go back to the actual dashboard, it doesn't always jive. Trying to make those connections and how they relate doesn't necessarily make sense, but it does once you start understanding how everything correlates together. So what I've done is I broke it down to even simpler terms like building a house. So let's start with just the bricks. Uh, this is really the heart and soul of really building a, a brick house. You need good bricks. And part of that is good ingredients. And so we're going to talk about the bricks and ingredients and how they correlate to what we have in the, the dashboard. So we have rules and algorithms. They're, they're pretty much the same thing. Algorithms, depending on how you talk about it. I think of algorithms as like a set of rules. And so it kind of, they're kind of used interchangeably. I believe they tend to overlap, but the idea is, is we're talking about this section here. Rules and algorithms is really the bricks to the house. And so let's take a look at that here. And you can see here's our algorithms. And these are simply broken up into, think of them as what they're, what they're intended to be used for. So we know from our you know, we, we follow up with a checklist and one of the checklist is, you know, negative, you know, we do negative keywords. So let's, let's look at that one. I'm just going to look at it very simply to show you. So when you look at this, it actually pulls up a list of all the ad groups in there in your campaign. This is a demo account, by the way. So we're selling jump ropes and we have different ad groups here. And then it's going to show you the rules that ha are, are present, not in the ad groups, but these are rules. Think of this as like a library of rules. And each one of these is similarly set up. They're going to have, say, a library or a list of templates of rules that are pre-built. And you can go in here and say, okay, negate 20 click zero orders. So that's probably the most common one that we've seen. And this is going to look at it, let's see, this is going to look at it at an ASIN level or at an ad group level is a better way to say that. So it's going to look at the ad group and within that ad group, if there are 20 clicks and zero orders, and this is, uh, of course, this keywords and products, so pack campaigns and keyword tag campaigns, it's going to negate it as an exact and let's see it's going to the ad groups with the same asin so it's it's going to find any ad that's going to have that asin and going to negate that it's going to collect it together basically it's I and mean, we can get really more in depth here but just know like you have a library of rules you can read them here and then you can actually edit them which is now we're going into i like to call the criteria profile so here's it does take some getting used to. So here's your criteria here, and then you can edit the criteria. Okay, if this happens, then you need to do that kind of concept. So here's your criteria that you've, you kind of can create. 
And then you can follow through with additional specifications and actions taken. And each one of them are going to be specific to the goal they're trying to accomplish. But you're going to be looking at the criteria. So conditions, for example, the 20 clicks and zero orders. Let's say if I wanted to make it into 32 clicks, I can change this number to 32. And I can give it a different name. Oops, sorry about that. I can give it a different name. I'm losing my spot. So that way I can identify it and put it into the other ad group. But it's going to live in this library when I make those changes. And I can add, I can add some rules and I can take out some rules. So that's the criteria on the back end here. And I like to think of that as your ingredients. So we have ingredients. And of course, ingredients can really good, make you know, good bricks or it can make bad bricks. If you don't use good criteria, it's going to have a weak brick well if we assemble these bricks in certain in certain in certain ways in certain order we can start building a house and you know a house is going to have a certain um, objective to this and that's kind of where the next stage is we take enough of these bricks or we take enough of these rules and we layer them to create objectives and that's where this next layer comes in here so we're looking at strategic objectives and think of these as just groups or layers, if you will, of rules to create an overall purpose or objective, strategic objective. So the keyword targeting, this is really, you could say manual campaigns. This is auto campaign. The keyword targeting is, is keyword targeting manual campaigns. Auto campaigns, pretty straightforward. Those for your auto campaigns. And then product targeting would be like your PAT campaigns, your PAT your pad manual campaigns and then automate assignment that's that's something that it's like a suggested tool that scale insights have created and say hey we see this is how your campaign that maybe you previously built this is the objectives we suggest that you apply but that's that's for another time to explain but let's go into just keyword targeting and so keyword strategies. So again, here's your library, but now instead of just a single rule, you're gonna have assigned a group of assigned rules up here. And so we have our bidding import, here's some negative. So if we look here, let's do like a discovery phrase, right? Cause you're gonna hear this one, the exact campaign. We're not gonna have too much negative on this necessarily. Um, but for this one discovery phrase, we don't, we don't wanna spend on search terms that are poor performers. And that's where these negative rules. So this would be one rule here. This would be another rule here. And here's a third rule. So, and they all divide up. They kind of correlate to this column here. And then optimum hours, that's a type of day partying. That would be, that would actually be this rule, the day party rule. And so there's a whole list of these. And it's just a library. It's just a group of suggestions um, of how to build these out. And then they title them. But these titles, then correlate to your mass campaigns. And that's where I like to say, okay, so we have these objectives for a, basically a group of rules for a campaign strategy. And then if you group these objectives together in a certain format, you can create a whole neighborhood, which can actually function at a, at a bigger level, at a more higher, bigger purpose. And so this is just your mass campaigns. One way to think of this is just template a template strategy that serves this. So all of those mass campaigns are pre-built and structured to serve this purpose here for their strategy. And again, it's to maintain conversion integrity throughout the entire flow of um, the product lifecycle or, or the campaign lifecycle. So if we take a look at your mass campaigns, we're gonna I'm gonna actually spend another time to dig into here, but just know that there's there's about three stages here. And then this one, the day party is kind of out on its own. It's more of like a testing campaign type, but the bulk auto is more for launch, full managed campaigns. As you get some data, you start to enter in growth. And then split keyword campaigns is more for a mature campaign. And I actually broke this down into a better visual. So if you wanted, this is how I see it. There's definitely not a line this strict. I think they tend to overlap. And in fact, your full managed campaigns will continue to run throughout the maturity stage alongside with your, your split keyword campaign. These are single sing, single keyword campaigns, essentially, really really targeted towards ranking. But depending, there's a lot of things that depend on which one you're going to launch with first and how they overlap. And it can get pretty specific. But the idea here is these are progressed from one into the next, into the next as you continue to build. So let's take a, a little quick look at those. I'm just gonna look at the fully managed campaigns if you wanna see. 
Go ahead and click learn more and it's gonna show you what that looks like. So you can sit here and, and again, these are all ASIN specific. So you're not gonna have multiple ASINs and this can only really be done at, with automation because there are so many campaigns for one ASIN and using automation, you can get that granular. It's going to allow you to manage it at that level and create it in a way um, where you can scale with multiple camp with mul multiple ASINs. Uh, so uh, again, I'm not gonna spend too much time in here, but if you wanna spend, the, the, the biggest point that I wanna make is here is your objective. So if you see, if you remember looking at some of the um, objective keyword, um, the keyword campaign strategy or objective objectives, you can see here's your discovery phrase strategy, which is one that we had mentioned, discovery exact. So all of these correlate to those objectives, which are, basically a set of rules, which is controlled by specified criteria. So you can kind of see how it kind of works its way down. Um, so let's see. So let's yep, mass campaigns, objectives, rules, and criteria. And this is just to help give you that big picture. What does that look like? As you guys move through this new type of software that we're using, it took me a little bit of time to figure out how they are all correlated, but I highly recommend taking the time just to look through here and see, okay, how does this one relate? What, what type of strategies are here? And then working it backwards to discovering, okay, wh what is it that's actually being applied? How does that actually look like for the discovery exact? Here's Here's the import rule. Let's take a look at the import rule sales and such like that. One other note I wanted to say is you can actually create your own objective strategies. That's what's so unique about the software is you can customize anything and everything. Even the mass campaigns at some level, you can um, customize the creation of those. So if you wanted to create a whole new type of strategy, one, you could actually clone this type and then adjust it for your particular uh, product or, or goals that you wanna have accomplished and then give it a name. And basically what you would end up doing is you would come back here, you can go ahead and select, say, okay, I wanna do, oops, I can, I can do, that. I'm in the demo campaign or demo. So you guys can actually go ahead and do this. If you're not gonna, there's nothing that's gonna break, it's all fake. Um, so you can assign it and say, okay, I want this ad group to be your exact, something like that. So now like, there it is, your discovery, like here's another, here's another exact, maybe we should add there. So you can really determine which strategies you have that are implemented. Same thing for the rules. So instead of saying, hey, I want a group of rules that I put together an objective, I want to just a specific negative rule. So instead of, so you can go say to a previous ad group that's already running, if we've connected up um, partway through a campaign that's running, you can say, hey, you know, I have a broad here that's spending a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna click that, and I wanna do uh, this one, the 20 clicks and zero orders. I wanna negate any exacts that are like that. And again, you can go ahead and customize this to 32 clicks or any criteria that you can possibly imagine. And let's say, yep, let's add that one. And now you have this rule. Um, and you can even add more. So if, if you're like, okay, I wanna also negate anything that's greater than 50% ACOS, let's add that. And so now you have those two that are layered up and then coming down. And again, you can do, you can start piecing together each and every single one. And then if I remember down here at the bottom, the assigned rules. So these are only going to show you what, if you're in the tab, it's only going to show you what rules assigned for that related tab, but you can come down here uh, and look at all your ad groups and it's going to show up with all of the rules that you've assigned. So let's do, jump buyer broad. So we did buyer broad. Let's add a new import rule, but it's not going to show me my negative. So let's just, just do that one. It's going to, just for example. So we have an import rule, but I don't know what else is assigned to this one. So I'm going to go down here and now I can see, oh, okay. So I have this rule and these rules assigned to this one. So you can get really specific. It's pretty exciting. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to try and make sure I share the demo link account. And I also encourage you just to at least go through this video. I'll add that as well. It's um, it's a lot there. I think it's good information, but it takes some time to let it you know sink in. You may have to go back once or twice to watch it again, um, just to make sure it makes sense. So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm really looking forward to implementing this with some of our campaigns that we have.